What we're going to talk about now is, is how to approach a complete engine bay. There are a lot of factors involved here as far as what we have to do to allow the, the new ACC accessories to fit into the car. A lot of things in the way that uh, we got to move around. Um, you have, you know, pretty significant wire harnesses, you have a uh, hood prop, you have things like the hood release cable, different lighting and ground cables. All of these are nicely and neatly fastened into the engine bay, but they don't really have anything to do aesthetically for the engine bay. So what we're going to do is kind of tuck them out of the way. It's basically a, a, a wire tuck is what we call it. And we're going to reposition all of these things and secure them just as well as they're secured now, but in, in a different way so that they're not just kind of strewn across your your shock towers and and spaghettied into a battery, a battery uh, area or even the fuse box area. What we're going to do is kind of detach them from their re retainers and kind of relocate and reroute them so that most of them are going to actually be invisible. Uh, we'll put them underneath uh, the, uh, the uh, radiator support rail, uh, tuck them down into the fender wells, uh, down into the sides, and, and secure them so that, you know, nothing is going to be threatened. You don't want to, you know, take a, a, a wire harness, move it into a dangerous location close to a header or something like that. You, we'll, we'll take a look at this and, and determine where the best routing would be so that we can set this up so that our new stainless steel accessories will kind of bolt right in the location and be able to bolt out of location. Um, we, uh, we'll we'll uh, show you these step-by-step -step processes. The ACC battery cover is this really nice stainless steel box that sits right into the battery tray. Um, in order that, for that to happen, we've got to rearrange a couple of things that we've got going on here. We've got some ground cables and we've got a lot of harnesses, both positive and negative, it's kind of spidered into the battery area. And if you look, we can really neaten this up and, and really organize this a little bit better uh, than the way it is now. Um, some of the first things we're going to do is, is to kind of since, since there is a, a relatively large resistor pack here on the 2013 5.0 Mustang, it's going to stick a little bit over to the side. So what we're going to do is move this battery over slightly so that all this can kind of tuck in under the cover without having to really change any of this electronics. One of the things we will have to do, however, is detach this kind of spidering right here once this goes over, we're going to reroute it so it's nice and neatly tucked into one spot. That's the negative cable, a couple of ground cables that are, that are uh, exiting the battery, and all these positive harnesses. We're going to route them in and out at one central location right in this corner. And it's a pretty easy thing to do. I mean, all you have to do is loosen the, the clamp of the battery, and then Ford's got this kind of a little centering plate that you'll want to take out and that's going to allow you to move the battery over and then we're going to loosen up our cables kind of route them underneath this AC line and that's going to force everything to come into this one central location and then when we get our new battery cover the battery cover is going to slip into the tray which holds its center and it's going to have an exiting port for all these harnesses which is going to be insulated so um, we're going to go ahead and get that started and we'll show you uh, how it works when we're all done. Now that we've moved our battery to a uh, location, um, we've taken our wire, wires that run up to the battery and harnessed them right over the factory uh, harness perch that, that's molded off the battery tray. Uh, we've ba banded this up pretty nice and snug with uh, some zip ties. We've, we have all the power wires and all the ground wires conjoining here 
in this solid location. Um, our battery cover simply sits into the notches of the battery tray, so it's pretty secure. It's not going to slide or move around. Uh, we've designed our battery cover to go around these wires. So this, once you get this all set up, it only takes a few minutes. Um, you will have to kind of tap your ground cables. This ground cable sticks out pretty significantly. You just got to kind of tap it down so that it folds up nice and snug to the battery. And then you, you know, make sure everything is secure. Your battery is not going to be moving around. Everything is nice and tight. Uh, the battery cover itself, this is a perforated one. This is available brushed, polished, perforated, or non-perforated. Uh, it just kind of slips right into the battery tray like that. And uh, that, uh, we made this instantly accessible because, you know, if anything happens, you're stuck on the side of the road, um, you, you can get instant access to the battery. So, you know, you don't need any screwdrivers or special tools to get it on and off. Now, we've, uh, we're going to move on to the four-piece fender cover set that we have. Uh, pretty unique design, also perforated metal. Um, there's a couple of things you need to do to prepare for its installation. You've got to uh, uh, you install one of our special uh, six millimeter bolts in uh, this hole location. This is a factory hole location. Um, it, you uh, just bolt it in place. It actually has a, a threaded nut. It was one of the ground uh, bolts that the factory had here. We're just gonna, we moved our ground to a different location and we're gonna use that same bolt hole for our mounting point for our new fender cover. Uh, we're also going to utilize this hole that's right next to it to secure the back half of our fender cover. Um, so it's pretty neat. You're not going to have to drill new holes for, for this side. Um, really, you're just kind of moving things around and, and, and changing some hardware to, to, uh, to allow us to mount our fender cover. Um, there is another. Uh, electrical connector that sits on a tab just to the side of the BCM cover. Um, we're going to use that tab for a mounting location. So we're just going to detach the wire harness and the, the wire connector right here and just kind of relocate it in this secure position. It's going to be kind of joined up with a bunch of other uh, wires coming out of the BCM so it's going to be uh, nice and secure. Then finally what we do is we put in these two uh, mounting perches. Uh, it's kind of a, a six millimeter bolt assembly that we're going to send you. These two bolts here, these two nuts being a spacer. So we're going to install that so that we can get the right height so our fender cover will shelf over everything we've got and give us a nice straight plane. Uh, it's a pretty cool setup, pretty easy to put in. You're just going to take a nut and you're going to wrench this down nice and tight. Now this will give you one, two, three, four screw locations to secure the panel. Now this is our perforated fender cover. It's a pretty cool design. Uh, it gives it that performance look. It's going to uh, ha come to you with a uh, speed nut. This is going to be used to tighten down our, our fender cover at this whole location. And then we have the tab which we're going to use on this BCM bracket. And then we have the two holes here that are going to be used to mount to these screws. Um, the unit is uh, pretty easy to set in. Uh, now, to use this attachment point, we're going to send you a clip nut. What you're going to do is just slide it over factory hole location. There's actually two holes there. You want to use the one on the right. Um, and that's going to give us our, our, our screw point there. So, fender cover itself goes in pretty easy. You're going to set it underneath and over your AC line. You're going to tuck this underneath the fender, this down into the area. You're going to pull your washer fluid, your windshield washer tank fill neck over a little bit. And 
this is going to give you your alignment. Now, the screws are going to give you this chrome spacer uh, that we're going to utilize in this location. Um, this, when we tighten this up, this is going to give you a real nice uh, looking spacer there. So the first one we're going to put in is just going to get this in here, locate that screw hole, snug this up. Now, you just want to snug this down. You don't want to tighten the bejesus out of it. It's not necessary. Uh, it'll stay nice and, and, and secure with just a, just a couple of torque uh, uh, motions on it. Um, next one is this screw here. And then finally these two screws. Now, critical that you understand not to over tighten uh, these screws. Uh, it is a fine thread. It is very possible to strip them. Uh, you just want to snug them down. Um, it's also a good idea to make sure that you're started correctly. Um, because it's a fine thread, it's very easy to cross thread. If you find it binding um, like that, you know that that it's, in, it's not incorrectly. So you just want to like relocate it and, and set it into your screw hole so that you have a nice easy thread. If it's binding you're, you've got to start over. Okay, we've installed our little uh, uh, Velcro donut over the screw so that we can put our decorative cover when we're all done. That finishes that off real nice. And that's about it. Um, this cover comes with a, a neat little cap set for this. Um, just kind of put that down like that. Set this down over it. Screw this down. And that's how that's finished. Now the next section that goes in is our top plate for this. This is a lighted unit. We've prepared some uh, electrical harness for it. And uh, it's a, a also a, and, and a very easy part to put in. This is our, our secondary plate. Um, this is why we've installed this bolt. We're going to use this bolt hole for that location. Should be the same uh, on all on all Mustangs. Just make our connection. This front screw hole location, uh, we've, we've provided you with a little spacer uh, to kind of secure this right underneath so that we're nice and taut and a little bit longer screw. Um, it's a little tricky to find the hole, but not too bad. I like to use a little final screwdriver to just kind of locate the hole location. This way you know you're on target. You can just pull that out, drop your screw down, and go ahead and set the front. Okay, again, in, the, in this area, you're going to use your little Velcro donut for the decorative cap. Now these fender covers 
are available in different combinations. You don't have to have a perforation. You can have this polished on polished or vice versa. You don't have to, ha uh, you, you don't have to have um, chrome trim on here. You can have different colors. Um, we've done that so that anybody that wants to customize their Mustang can be unique. You know, you do have the ability to order these just the way you want it so you can have your own custom Mustang. You don't want to have pull into a show next to somebody that has the same thing you have. So we've ma purposely made these so that you can order them in, in different kind of combinations. Um, we've brushed this top plate because we're also going to add uh, a stainless fender cap which is illuminated. That illumination hits the brush stainless, makes it look, gives it a nice uh, special effect. We uh, designed some pretty cool looking shock tower cat covers. Um, these are uh, going to come to you fully assembled. Um, they use the, the, they mount right directly to the four factory studs. You don't have to take the bolts out, it's going to go right over those. You want to line the seam with the, this elongated slot in the back. You just kind of set that in like so. And then we've given you uh, these cool decorative uh, nuts that you just kind of put these on like so. And again, you don't, these are just hand tight. You don't have to wrench these down very very much. They're not going to come loose on you. Okay, this is a, uh, a finishing accessory that we've we've added to this installation. Um, this doesn't is not part of the fender kit. This is a separate uh, accessory uh, that bolts right on to the top of the fender. Uh, in order to install this, you have to replace the, the, the factory six millimeter bolts with our special threaded bolts. The center one, we've given you a couple of extra spaces in there so that you can, this becomes a nice little level. You have, it's kind of recessed in here in this spot. So we've raised it up so that you have a nice level plane. Once those are installed, it's pretty easy to get this to go on. Uh, we're going to, these are available Again, uh, in a lot of different ways, lighted, unlighted, uh, brushed, polished, turn metal. Kind of route your wire in. And then set this in place. Now, these screws, um, you want to try and set, hand set all your, your screws in first before you snug them all down, just so that you can get a good alignment uh, with everything. Uh, there's always going to be a variable from one car to the next. That means that these bolt locations could be one way or the other. That should happen. You might have to elongate the hole slightly so that you can take up that variable. Most of the time they should be uh, dead on. Now, I'm going to just tuck our wire in here. Now we've designed this to stand alone. Um, However, we have this crease here and that, that's designed for our radiator cover. It'll slice right underneath there and it, and it kind of finishes it off where it can just wear it just like that. Uh, so now that it's all in, you just want to just snug these down a little bit. You can see we have enough 
clearance for your your hood hinge uh, and this illuminated panel will reflect on this panel look quite nice the kit comes with a, a decorative cover for your uh, windshield washer fill tank um, one of the things you have to do to receive that cover is to just nip off the finger tab um, that's there from the factory once you've kind of shave that off just put this back on and then our cover this is a perforated one again these are available in, on all different types of styles um, our cover is going to mount to that this is our own patented design take a velcro cookie kind of stick it to the top of your cover and then set your your decorative cover that finishes that off quite nice then the fender cover this fender cover kit does not come with the fuse box cover or the BCM cover uh, however we do make some pretty nice ones uh, this is our BCM cover which is going to mount right in place um, we don't, haven't got our, our mounting tab in here yet but it's a little velcro strip that's going to uh, we're going to peel and stick and that's going to hold our BCM cover now we've also set this up with a hole in the back and this is going to be our switch location for all our decorative lighting we round we we made this location specific because uh, it's right next to the fuse box you have all your electrical you have ground you have power uh, it's very easy access uh, and that's why we've located the switch at the back of this cover uh, you can order it with or without uh, a switch and then our fuse box covers kind of an easy piece this will also velcro in place we're going to put two velcro strips down which will install into the other side of the the cover and it will fit right over the the factory notches and allow it to stay secure all right the next part of this installation uh, on the driver's side uh, we've got a rearrange a couple of things. First we have the uh, Ford's sound tube that attaches to the sound generator that is attached to the, uh, the cabin of the car. This tube rides up high connected to a couple of rubber uh, retainers that hold it kind of in midair here. Um, not a very nice looking thing to look at so we have decided to lower it with your kit is going to come with a, uh, a piece of plastic tubing so that we can extend the length on this which will allow this to drop down under the uh, the valve cover here and over back to its normal position um, very easy thing you'll split the pipe in two and just put this connector in and then um, you're going to prepare the tab that holds this tube with two holes. Now these are the only two holes we're going to ask you to drill in this whole installation. One is for to mount the lower fender cover panel and then uh, the other holes, quarter inch holes, so that you can install our, uh, our flange bolt with the threaded head. This is for the top panel. Once you get these two in, it's simply a matter of just uh, screwing everything in place. Again, you have the two uh, perches that we put on a little bit, a little bit high. Uh, it's a, from here, it's just a relatively straightforward installation. The smaller panel is uh, one that we've designed to set in front of the stock air tube. So we're just going to put this in place and screw it down. So, now the second hole location we're going to leave uh, open so that we can attach the top plate. So you're just going to put the one screw in for now. Now our second section 
uh, is designed to sit right into the air box tray here. You have a little uh, casted plastic ledge here and our panel is going to take this section and sit right in there. That's going to determine the height. We're going to screw it in at this location and the hole that we created earlier. So we'll put this in like so. And just kind of nudge this over so it'll go underneath. And that's sitting in position. Okay, again, we'll use our little chrome little spacer here. Now, when you're installing this, you're going to want to kind of remove some of the uh, protective liner so you don't have to go digging for it after uh, or screwing it in place. So we're just going to remove this here. Just a little piece. We'll put our spacer in place. Find a screw. And that's all that secures this section of the fender cover kit. Uh, it's pretty stable. Sitting, everything's sitting in place, nice and straight. We can move on to the next piece. This is the design for the second piece. Um, has a cool little grill for the uh, air generator here. And uh, we've also uh, set this up to be uh, uh, lighted. So we're gonna make that connection. with our uh, harness we installed earlier. And I'm gonna wrap this around like so. And this sits just in place, just like that. Screw this one down. Now this kit doesn't come with a uh, master cylinder reservoir cover. However, we do make a part for that, which is uh, pretty easy to put in. And is uh, held in place by the cap. And we'll install the decorative cap cover for it. Okay, now we'll put on the shock tower dome. Again, you line up the seam with this long hole. That'll tell you you're in the right position. And then snug that down. And uh, this screw, again, we have a spacer here and a long threaded screw for the nut.
again we'll lift up these areas here to install our Velcro donut. decorative cap covers. 